would like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Telelumiere TV. We shall begin with the following headlines. His Majesty the King expresses his condolences to the families of the victims in the Karakush wedding fire. The Custody of the Holy Land celebrates the feast of its founder, St. Francis of Assisi. The Evangelical Episcopal Church celebrates Thanksgiving and service of confirmation. Welcome back. In a related context, during his meeting with His Holiness Pope Francis, Patriarch Theophilus III praised the dedication of the Patriarch Pizzabella in preserving the Christian presence in the Holy Land. His beatitude also discussed the challenges facing Christians and their heritage in Jerusalem, especially the risks arising from the attempts of extremist right-wing groups to alter the multi-ethnic, multicultural, and multi-religious character of the Holy City. He emphasized that the hate crimes and desecration of Christian sites by these groups pose a significant threat to the Christian presence in the Holy City. During the meeting, Patriarch Theophilus expressed his gratitude for the support of His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Hussein and his commitment to safeguard the sanctities. He commended His Majesty's efforts in preserving the Christian and Islamic identity in Jerusalem. His Holiness Pope Francis sent a message to the Archbishop of Mosul for Syria Catholics, Bishop Benedictus Yunan, offering condolences for the victims of the Karakush fire in Iraq. The fire occurred during a wedding ceremony in the Hamdaniya district of Nineveh province, leading to the death and injury of hundreds of participants. The Holy Father expressed how deep his sorrow is and spiritual closeness to all those affected by this tragedy. He also offered heartfelt condolences to the Iraqi people, affirming his prayer for the injured. Furthermore, His Majesty King Abdullah II sent a message of condolences to the President of Iraq, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, regarding the victims of the Karakush wedding fire. He also sent a similar message to Prime Minister Mohammed Sudani. His Majesty expressed his condolences and sympathy on his behalf, on behalf of the people of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and on behalf of the government. He offered his condolences to the families of the victims in this painful tragedy and his wishes for a speedy recovery for the injured. A funeral mass for the souls of the tragic incidents victims was held at the Ma'at Ephraim Syriac Orthodox Cathedral in Swafiya, Amman. The funeral was presided over by His Excellency Bishop Mar Yaqub Ephraim, the Patriarchal Vicar for the Syriac Catholics, and attended by several priests from churches in Jordan and Palestine. The funeral was attended by the Charge the Fair of the Iraqi Embassy in Amman, Munif al Samarai, and Dr. Muhammad al Badawi, the representative of the Iraqi community in Jordan, along with a large gathering of believers. After the prayer service, the congregation offered their condolences to Bishop Ephraim and the priest. The Franciscan custody of the Holy Land celebrated the feast of its founder, St. Francis of Assisi, and the patron saint of the educational institutions affiliated with the Franciscan order worldwide, including those in Jordan. This celebration takes place annually on the 4th of October. On this occasion, the deputy patriarch for the Latin Church in Jordan, Bishop Jamal Khadr, presided over a festive mass at the SDC College Church. The ceremony was attended by several bishops, priests, deacons from various sisters' churches, as well as the papal nuncio, Giovanni Daltuso, and monks and nuns from different religious orders, representatives of scouts groups, and members of various church organizations. During the Sermon of the Mass, Bishop Jamal Khadr congratulated the Franciscan monks on their annual celebration and spoke about the personality of St. Francis of Assisi, who lived his life as an aesthetic, renouncing material wealth and worldly pursuits. At the conclusion of the ceremony, Father Rashid Mistrih thanked Bishop Jamal Khadr for leading the Mass and expressed gratitude to everyone who participated in the religious celebration. The Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church celebrated its annual Thanksgiving and Confirmation service at the Evangelical Church in Jabal Amman. The Holy Communion service was led by Archbishop Hussam Naoum, assisted by Reverend Fayyak Haddad and members of the Church, in the presence of a congregation of believers from the parish. During the celebration, Archbishop Naoum administered the Sacrament of Confirmation by laying hands and anointing with Holy Chrism to several members of the congregation. In his sermon, Archbishop Naoum spoke about the Holy Spirit, emphasizing the significance of the Sacraments of Holy Communion and Confirmation. He also discussed the virtues and meanings of Thanksgiving and its importance in the lives of Christians, encouraging the faithful to maintain regular church attendance, be attentive to the needs of those less fortunate, and express gratitude to God for all His blessings. A delegation composed of 30 young men and women from the Ramallah youth visited the kingdom and established a camp in the Ma'in area of Madaba Governorate. A delegation composed of 30 young men and women from the Ramallah youth visited the kingdom and established a camp in the Ma'in area of Madaba Governorate. The camp titled, Come Let Us Live the Holiness, 
including spiritual lectures and visits to religious, historical, and archaeological sites. During their visit, accompanied by Father Ashaya Haddad, the delegation of young people met with His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus, the Orthodox Archbishop of Jordan. Archbishop Christophorus presided over a divine liturgy at the Church of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary in Madaba. In his sermon during the liturgy, His Eminence mentioned that they are still living the atmosphere of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. He emphasized the need to interact with the love of the crucified for us and reflect this in our relationships with those around us. The liturgy was attended by several priests and deacons along with the youth from Ramallah and parishioners of the church. In another context, Archbishop Christophorus met with the parishioners who got married in the past two years at the Orthodox Club in Abdoun. The gathering was attended by several priests and deacons as well as a hundred couples. During the meeting, His Eminence addressed the married couples emphasizing that the measure of love in a family is tolerance and forgiveness. He urged them not to allow third parties to interfere in their family matters and to focus on raising their children in a safe environment. He also highlighted the importance of the proximity of the husband and wife to the church as it protects their children from the overwhelming influences of the times. In the Church of St. Michael in the town of Smakia in the Karak Governorate, celebrated the feast of its patron, St. Michael, the celebration took place during a festive mass presided over by the Deputy Patriarch for the Latin Church in Jordan, Bishop Jamal Khadr. The mass was attended by Father Khaled Gammo, the pastor of the church, Deacon Zaleh Jazin, and a group of priests and nuns, as well as a congregation of parishioners. At the beginning of the mass, Father Gammo welcomed Bishop Khadr and attending priests for joining in the celebration with the Lasmikiya parish. Following this, Sweets were distributed to the attendees in joyous celebration of the occasion, accompanied by the music of the scout group affiliated with the Sarqa Parish. The Coptic Solidarity Organization has published a statement signed by former parliamentarians, legislators, and wide range of experts urging the reinstatement of Patriarch Sacco as the head of the Shaldin Church. In this statement, the senatories expressed their support for his betutut Patriarch Sacco, who has dedicated his efforts to defending his persecuted community and safeguarding the properties of the Iraqi Christian and Shaldin Church. The statement described the Patriarch Sacco as a strong advocate for religious freedom for all people. The senatories believe that the presidential decree issued by Iraqi President Abdel Latif Rashid would strip Patriarch Sacco of his powers could lead many Iraqi Christians to force migration in order to protect their properties. The signatories also call for Patriarch Sacco's safe return to his residence in Baghdad and the provision of necessary protection so that he can continue his religious and spiritual duties as well as his administrative responsibilities in overseeing the Shaldin Church's properties. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. His Majesty the King expresses his condolences to the families of the victims of the Karakush wedding fire. The Evangelical Episcopal Church celebrates Thanksgiving and the service of Confirmation. The youth of Ramallah camped in Ma'in and visited religious historical sites in the kingdom. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching, wishing you a pleasant time, and hope to see you again.